Alright guys, it's Ronaldo 868 Sorry for the back and the background um, I was just working on this remix This Hello Kitty remix And I realized that I don't have a video up In fact, I don't really have a much Ableton Live videos up So I decided to show you guys Something that I do with Like all my songs now To ensure that my mix comes out as clean as possible So There's this thing called Pink Noise Which is this if y'all can hear it and the thing about pink noise if you put a, a EQ on it again sorry for my dog barking if you put an EQ on it you would see that pink noise let's just slow it down so y'all can hear it better you'll see that pink noise has like all the frequencies of a song right like all and the thing about that is that you can use this as a guide as a guide to mix your music so what I tend to do is I have you know pink noise duplicated up you know good amount of time throughout my entire song and then I take it off and I shove the the, the um the volume up sorry my phone is vibrating I shove the volume up to six to get as loud as possible and then I solo it and I go through and I go through each each of my tracks separately and I just adjust the volume on each track and I also well I pre EQ everything to make sure you know everything sounds how I want it to sound and I just go through each track and to get them as, as clean as possible I don't have like a before and after to show you guys so that kind of sucks but I will show you guys like give you guys an idea of of how I you know go about this so I have one track playing here you 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 guys might not hear this right because I'm gonna turn um I'm gonna stop talking while I do this but basically I have as I said before I have the pink noise soloed and I have the audio clip that I'm gonna adjust also soloed to solo two tracks you hold control on PC and you hit the track so like bow and hit hit, hit control again and hit the next track bow so you know both of them are soloed alright so we have the pink noise and we have this clip here soloed and we're just gonna listen to it and at first it will be like probably like at zero let's say and we're just gonna adjust it till we can hear the pink noise but we can barely hear this sound here so I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna do it, alright? So I did it fast so y'all you guys didn't really see, so I'll just do it again. Starting over. So right here, I can keep going till 10, but because I have a little experience with mixing and I really want this vocal to be heard, um, I will do it at 8 because the reason why I'll do it at 8, I'll tell you just now. If you look at the spectrometer on this song, so let's make this large and let's have it play without the pink noise. Hold on. So let's unsolo the pink noise. Sorry, I'm like real scrolling. Boy, what the hell is this? All right. Sorry, I don't really have like a big monitor, so like I have to do a lot of scrolling when I'm doing my work. Right. So let's just play the song. If you look at the spectrometer. You would see that the frequency is peaking like around this area here. So Given my experience, I well this is usually where vocals land. Given my experience, I just assume that if I was to carry down to ten negative ten dB, then I wouldn't hear it at all. If it was more on this end of the spectrum, chances are I might have still been able to hear it. Or if it was like if the vocals were like here, because of the frequency and the speed at which um well 
that makes no sense but because of the frequency certain frequencies you can hear even if you low it down to like negative 40 you might still be able to hear it bass is not one of those frequencies mids mm, depends and highs i guess that's probably why they call it highs but highs you can like low it down like really really low and chances are you might still be able to hear it so let's leave it at eight and i did the same thing for for this here um for these cat noises here um for this clip as well and basically this is all my mix songs now Honestly, that sounded terrible. Reason being, um, in order to do this whole tutorial, I had to use this stupid. Um, I'm not using ASIO in order to do this tutorial. Um, how about we try to see if it will work in ASIO? Okay, guys. Just like, it's, it's, it, hopefully, this won't break the whole system. Let's let's just see what. So um, when I use the ASI thing, <laughs> the whole recording stopped. So that's a um, that's a fail. But um, yeah, as I was saying before, once you once you mix like this and you go through each track separately, and you adjust it, you know, based on the pink noise, you will get, to m in my experience, a much cleaner mix. Now this is not. I wouldn't say this is a professional way or if this is the best way to mix but the reason why I mix like this the main reason why I mix like this is because I don't have studio monitors at the moment I can't afford them so I have to use the next best option and in my research the next best option I found was using pink noise because mixing with just your heads your headphones and the song it could work but it doesn't get you sometimes a good um reference as to what level the sound should be at. Now, once you get everything to the level where it should be, sitting where it should sit, right, with the pink noise, then you can go ahead and master your track and then everything could be, uh, you know, louder than how it is currently now. Now, what happens is if you don't mix with pink noise, then you're not sure, you know, the, the amount of headroom you're gonna get. And then when it comes to mastering, everything just gets destroyed or squashed or whatever. Right, so you don't want that. So you want to mix in a way where you know you don't kill people's ears and stuff. Oh, and next thing I can show you guys in terms of mixing, I didn't do it here. This on this track, phone just went off again. Um, I always remove this amount of um. I always do a a a a, a ninety degree vertical cut. I don't know what you call it. At 16,000 16, kilohertz. Reason being, um, in my research I found that older people can't really hear, or maybe they can hear this amount or something, or something like that. So just to preserve people's ears, just, I just remove like this. Like this section right here, gone on all my songs. I never leave them there. And I've seen songs where people leave it, I'm not sure if this song has it, but you know, it's not necessary because you don't hear it. You don't hear what's in this corner here. Like, I, at least I doubt. So let, let's do an experiment. Let's see if we could actually hear what's in the corner there. Without this, there's nothing there. So it's just like taking up. In case there's anything there, it's not doing anything. So, you know, I just take it off. Um. Yeah, so that's the video for today, guys. As, as I said, you know, oh, I didn't say that. Stupid. Um, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know if this helped. Let me know if it didn't help. Um, message me on Facebook. That's actually the quickest way to get me. If you comment here a question, I will get the question and I will respond to it. But sometimes, you know, I mightn't be on YouTube as fast as you would like. So if you want a faster response, you might want to send me a message on Facebook. Alright guys, so boom, subscribe, like, check out my other songs, bless.
She be feeling my vibe Cause the way I make a smile I made a place in life The girl came cool But she blowing my mind And every time I learn with that It's a real good time Girl I never thought I'd find a love I like you This can be love This love life too The girl want to know if I ready To keep things steady When we alone Not tell shit Girl the way you move Your baby Smoother than the music 